It was the policy that almost plunged the Berejiklian government into minority. Nationals MPs demanding changes to the Koala SEP or they'd move to the crossbench. But ahead of next week's highly anticipated cabinet meeting, a principal agreement has been reached. The New South Wales Liberals and Nationals Coalition has been considering our policy in relation to the protection of koalas and uh, what it means uh, for all of New South Wales. And I'm very pleased to say that ahead of the Cabinet meeting on Tuesday that uh, the New South Wales Coalition has uh, rested on a very balanced, uh, fair approach. I think the best opportunity was to come out here today and actually tell you that we're actually close to actually landing a balanced outcome. Now when I talk about a balanced outcome it means that we've got strong environmental protections but also acknowledging that farmers rights and property rights are going to be protected. Exactly what concessions the Liberal Party has made on the policy is still under wraps. A many number of them have been secured and a many number of them were of real concern to our communities and when you actually see something worth fighting for that's exactly what we did. Uh, any fight's not easy. I mean we all have fights with our families, we have fights with our friends but this is about making sure we had the robust discussions that were needed. The details will be gone into uh, during the Cabinet process. Uh, certainly there have been a number of issues that have already been public over the last few weeks uh, about nego negotiated positions that have been on the table for some time. Uh, of course uh, they frame this discussion. Uh, so for example you raise uh, the pink maps uh, as has been indicated for some time. Uh, it is uh, recognised that there are some complications with those maps and so those maps will be withdrawn. Sky News understands that while the koala policy boosts the number of tree species and protections for koalas, agricultural land and farmers are completely exempt. Deputy Premier John Barillaro faced a vote of no confidence in Parliament last month before taking four weeks of mental health leave. Since then, the Coalition has desperately tried to piece itself back together, but the Premier can't seem to recall the ordeal. We've always been uh, one big happy family. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News, Sydney.